Hi guys, I hope you guys are all doing well today. This is my third time attempting this video. Oh, okay, so I'm sorry that I haven't been around. I've been having extremely bad allergies since the second week of February. Like insanely bad where my eyes have just been red, swollen, flaky, um, you name it. My eyes have just been a disaster. So they're finally getting a little better. They still look a little bad, but I'm better. So, um... This is a Sephora haul. Ooh, Sephora. Um, you guys all know, I'm sure, that they're having their 15% off whatever spring sale, blah, 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 blah. I went in because I wanted a lot of stuff that was sold out online, and my Sephora supposedly had all this stuff in store, so I braved the crowd and went in on Saturday. Yet Yesterday, it's right now, it's Sunday midnight, so technically it's Monday. But anyways, um, so I went in, and none of the stuff I wanted was in stock, so it kind of sucked, but I ended up finding a couple of other things. And yeah, we'll get right into it. So this is the first thing I bought was this Hourglass Ambient Powder Brush. I ordered two of the blushes um, earlier this week. So um, I don't know. I heard, I saw some reviews on YouTube and they were saying that this brush is really good for the blushes. So I ended up picking it up. This is a little brown velour little pouch, which is pretty cute. And then this is the brush that's enclosed. Just, I don't know, it's just pretty nice. It's firm, it's soft. It's supposed to be perfect for those blushes, so we will see how that works. And this is $35. <sighs> the next thing that, I, well, something that I really wanted was that Pantone Color of the Year matte um, lipstick, but obviously it's sold out everywhere. They don't have it. So um, the lady recommended this to me. This is a Too Faced Melted um, Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and these are new. They actually were not even out yet. But um, she brought them out from the back, and this is what they look like. Well, this is the one I picked up, looks like, and this is called Melted Fuchsia. And it's really cool because it has, like, a, a sponge tip slanted applicator. And this is what the color looks like. It's just basically, like, a hot pink, as far as I'm concerned. She said it looks a lot like the color of the year. I highly doubt it does because the color of the year tends to look a little bit more purplish. But um, I really like this color anyways. Um, there was also another color that I really liked, which was a purple from that same line, um, and it's called uh, Melted Violet. Somehow they were already sold out of it, even though they were not actually out in display. So obviously they've probably been telling a lot of people about them. Um, so she ended up giving me a sample, which should hopefully hold me down until it's back in stock or until it's released, because it's not even really like out anywhere. Well, on the website. Um, this is the color. It's really, really pretty. Obviously, this is going to be, I think, a really popular shade this year. This violet. Because absolutely every violet, like, in stock, like, on at Sephora.com is sold out. Like, I've been looking, like, through all the brands, and they're all sold out. So, I think this is going to be a hot color this year. So I got that, and then um, I ended up picking up this. This is something else that she brought from the back. She just brought it because she thought maybe I would be interested in it. And it's actually really cute. It's called Meet the Batch. This is also not released. It's not out. It's not on Sephora.com yet or in stores. Um, so I don't know when it's going to be released, but she let me buy it. So it's really cute. It has three polishes and three um, lip products. It's got a Bite Beauty Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. It's gold. A Deborah Lipman Mini and Girls Just Want to Have Fun. It's got a Formula X polish in the color Invincible. An Hourglass Cosmetics Extreme Sheen High Gloss Lip Gloss in Child. A Nails Ink um, polish in Devonshire Road. Devonshire Row. And um, a Tarte Lip Surgeon Lip Tint in Elite. So. This is what the Nails Ink polish looks like. It's just a really pretty kind of plumish purple lilac. Um, and then I got this um, Bite lip gloss, which is another, also it's a really, really pretty color. I'd love a lipstick like this, but they didn't have any in stock, so lip, the lip gloss is right there. Then here is the Hourglass Little Mini um, Lip Gloss, and this is just like a clear gloss. It's nothing, a clear like nudish kind of gloss, so nothing too special there. But I love the Hourglass stuff, so that's cute. And then I got this um, lip tint, 
lip surgeon thing and her colors right there it's pretty it's pretty light nothing too crazy kind of like a coral color Ooh. and then here is the Sephora formula X nail polish and here's the really pretty Deborah lip mint one this is like a really pretty coral so that's that and then I ended up picking up I heard a lot of um, reviews on this too this is the Josie Marin coconut water color cheek jelly and this is what it looks like it's just like a little glass and this color is in poppy paradise a really pretty color and it, I don't know it kind of feels like a little bit like jello or like a like a mac on um, those tinted lip conditioner things um it could be pretty sheer swatches right there but obviously, you know, it could be buildable and it just feels really, really nice on the skin. So, but that was like really nice. Give like a good flush, a good natural. Does it smell like anything? I don't know why I just smelled anything, but I love smelling all this stuff. So, me, yeah, I just kind of like a nice natural little flush to your cheeks. And then the next thing that I got was this Clinique Cheek Pop. I also was hearing a lot of Good things about this on YouTube um, and it's a really pretty blush and this is in the color berry pulp and this is what it looks like it's really cute it has a daisy imprint and that is what that looks like so that was a really pretty color and that is basically it. That is all that I bought. Um, I ended up getting a sample too of the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. I'm in the color Sand. Um, Wayne Goss from Goss Makeup on YouTube was talking about how they revamped the um, foundation sticks. Like they reformulated them. Um, so he really recommended it. And I didn't want to pay 44 straight up in case it did it. I didn't like it. So I ended up getting a sample of that. And I think that is really it, guys. Um, let me see. Anything else I have? I got some samples, which nobody really cares what's in there. And then um, for my 100 point perk, I got this Facial Radiance Polish from First Aid Beauty. I've been really wanting to try that brand for a while. So hopefully it works out for me. And that is basically it, guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, as I said, I've, just, I've been having really bad allergies. That's why I haven't been able to make any videos. But hopefully I'll start feeling better. But now it's like springtime is coming and... That's when allergies get worse, so I have no idea if I'm going to get better. But um, hopefully my Sephora haul will be here tomorrow or Tuesday, the one I ordered. Um, so I'll be able to hopefully, so hopefully I'll be good and I'll be able to, like, I'll feel better or whatever. So I'll hopefully be able to make a video for you guys when that stuff comes in. And that is it, guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Head out to Sephora. The sale ends on the 11th. The, the code is Rouge Ticket. Take an opportunity because 15% off is a really good deal, you know? So I hope you guys are all doing well. Guys, have a great week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.